Okay, so Jen has agreed to go through just a quick assessment of some movement, as well as me walking her through an exercise so that you can get an idea of what a telehealth visit might look like. So Jen was being seen previously for neck pain. She was doing well and is doing a home exercise program. So today's gonna be more of an update for her. Um, we've kind of gone through already how she's feeling, how she's doing. So I'm gonna jump right in and have her go through some movements. Okay, so Jen, what I'm gonna have you do is walk away from the camera a little bit. Good, and then I want you to turn around so your back is to me. And then keeping your arms straight, I'm gonna actually have you put your hood up for me just so I can see how your shoulders are, are moving there, perfect. And then I just want you to, keeping your arms straight, lift them up and down a few times, up over your head as high as you can go, and then come back down. And can you turn your thumbs up towards the ceiling for me now? Good, and do a couple more there. Good, and back down. How's that feeling, okay? Good, okay, any neck pain or anything with that? Okay, so what we're gonna work on next is just gonna be a scapular stabilizing series that's gonna also work on that chin tuck that we've talked about. So I'm gonna adjust my camera here so you can see me, okay? And so what you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you from the side and then I'm gonna turn and we're gonna go forward. You're gonna do your good chin tuck there. You're gonna hinge from the hips, keeping your back nice and flat, keeping your head in line. And we're gonna go through three different motions. So the first one is gonna be an I. So thumbs up, lifting, and then back down. Then you're gonna go to a Y. So 45 degree angle, still keeping those thumbs up in the middle, and then back down. And then you're gonna go out into a T like that, okay? So with all of those, my thumbs are staying up and my chin is tucked. You can see here, I'm gonna be up, Y, and then T. If this starts to happen, right, you're losing that form, you're gonna reset, really maintain that good positioning. And we are doing this more for endurance for you. So I'm gonna have you go through 15 each position. So I, Y, T, 15 times, okay? Take one more step back for me. Okay, you ready? Yeah, perfect. So tuck that chin a little bit more. Think about bringing it back so that everything's in line. Good, right there. So maintain that position the whole time. Thumbs up, you're gonna go I. Good, Y, and then T. So you're a little wide on that Y, come a little bit more narrow. Think about a 45 degree angle, good. And you're just gonna keep going through those three motions. Let me know as you're going if you're getting any pain there, okay? That looks good. Good. And we'll have you do one more of each there. Good, okay. <clears throat> so if this starts feeling easy, you'd go through three to four sets since we're working on endurance. You can always grab on if you have light dumbbells at home or if not, just canned goods work great because they give you you know, that little bit of weight to add to it. I know we've done these exercises standing up with the band. So the real reason we're doing in that bent position now is now your deep neck stabilizers, right? Are having to work against gravity. So that's gonna continue to train that balance for you. Um, any questions on that one? I will write all that up and email it over to you so you have a copy of it. Good, okay, yeah, and that's exactly what we want you to keep working so you really get that stability. Okay, all right, well, thanks again. And all set. All right. Have a good one. Bye.